Kartik and you are on my YouTube channel and today we are going to try out for the first time on the video the Dyson Airwrap. I recently got it and I am so excited to try it. So I have already tried two attempt with the Dyson and I have just got the gist of it and I am not completely pro in it but yeah I have started it two times but the first time was like a total fail and I just couldn't make any hairstyle with it and the second time I did a little better job and this is the third time I did it and this is how it looks like. I mean it's way better than the first and second trial uh, and uh, you're gonna see how I did this hairstyle. It's like completely bro dried uh, salon like hair and it feels really really you know healthy and not like that straight no pokey straight hair and not like the curled heated damaged hair so yeah i'm gonna say everything about that in this video so my hair type is like super wavy hair it's just unmanageable and with this blow dry i'm able to like manage my hair so i'm like really really happy with the dyson right now and i'm just gonna show how i style my hair in this video also, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks through which I learned how to use it like properly. So without wasting any more time, I'm just going to get into the video. So I have already posted the unboxing of the Dyson on my shorts. So check that out if you haven't yet. And I'm just going to open this box here and just show you like how it's kept right now and this is how i keep my dyson right now i don't have the pouch yet and i'm not thinking of buying it also because it's like three thousand rupees for a pouch and i can't already i have spent so much on this dyson so i am not buying that one and of course i'm just going to show you how i uh, how my natural hair looks like this is how my natural hair looks like so I have washed my hair with a shampoo and a conditioner and I have let it air dry for a while and this is like 80% dry and for using the Dyson you have to let your hair 80% dry and then use it. It should be a little damp while using it. So before using the Dyson I'm gonna apply some heat protectant spray although the Dyson claims not to damage your hair using the heat but there is some heat coming from the air in the Dyson so I'm gonna use this pea plant hairspray and this is gonna just protect my hair from the heat waves that is going to come from the Dyson and this is a really good heat protectant spray I recently started using it and I am loving it before this I was using the serum uh, by Streaks and I like that also so after using the heat protectant spray, I'm also going to use a serum, which is also heat protectant serum. So my hair is just like so wavy and it just doesn't stay at place. So I have to apply something oily on it so that the hair stays in place and the serum is the best choice. So I'm going to apply some serum after this. So the serum that I'm using is by Kerastin and this is their uh, sample product and I love this serum a lot but the full bottle is very expensive. I'm just gonna try the sample now and we'll see about it like we have if I have to purchase it or not. And yeah this is a really good product though. I will just name the products all the products on the side of the screen so you can check it out also in the description box. So first I'm going to blow dry my hair a little bit and for that I'm using the blow dry attachment and this is the lock button here and you just have to put the attachment over the lock and it will lock automatically you don't have to pull the button or anything and there is a rotator on the upper part of it so that you can rotate and and bring it to the blow dry part and this is the on and off button of it so on the side here you can see the fan setting i have put it on the medium and on the other side there is heat airflow setting which is on the low medium and high and there is also a cool setting so that you can uh, get the cool air only and this is the on and off button and it also have a cool short button which i'll explain later in the video 
so what i'm trying to do here is i'm gonna dry my hair 90 percent and then i'm gonna style it so the dyson have recommended that the hair should be cool to your hand if you touch it and 90 percent dry is the perfect condition of your hair to style with dyson so now my hair is uh, almost 90% dry as you can see the sum of my hair in the bottom is still a little wet and I'm just gonna unlock this barrel now and I'm gonna attach another attachment for this. So Dyson has these two types of brushes one is the soft bristle brush which is for a really straight hair and the second one is a hard brush which is for a wavy and curly hair I'm gonna use the hard one because my hair is like super wavy I'm gonna attach this attachment and then brush it so before using the Dyson directly on my hair I'm just gonna detangle my hair a little bit so that it doesn't get stuck in between and it just flows really easily on my hair so I'm gonna do that first. So after detangling your hair, it is important to section your hair. If you have long hair, the sectioning makes the styling really, really easier. So I'm just gonna take the top section and pin it on the side and I'm gonna section my hair into two again and pin the section inside and then I'm going to section the other part of the hair again into two sections and I'm gonna pin it to the side again so while styling with Dyson you have to take smaller section of hair to work with because it just doesn't do a good job with thick section of hair with smaller section you can easily work so for the settings i have set the fan on medium and for the heat flow i have set it already on the medium and i'm gonna work with that if you want your hairstyle to look crisp and uh, stay longer period of time you can use the higher heat setting i'm just using the medium one because i don't want the crisp hairstyle also if you have thick hair you can use the higher settings for your hair now i'm just gonna take smaller sections and just work it with the brush and straighten it up for the hairstyle that i am doing i need to straight my hair first and then curl it to get the best results so i'm doing that way otherwise also you can do it just directly use the color and not straighten your hair but for my hairstyle i'm gonna do this way so the brush helps you to detangle your hair and also make it straight and this is like very uh, gentle straight it is not like the straight now pokey straight hair and the hair also feels really soft after uh, brushing it and because i'm not looking for that straight hair uh, hairstyle so i'm just gonna uh, brush my hair two three times just to get a little bit straightened hair so this side is straightened now and you can see the difference i'm gonna show you the other side which i have not straightened yet you can see the waves on the other side and you can see the oops, uh, little waves on this side also because i have not used the maximum heat setting i have just used the medium one so yeah and now i'm gonna do this side also and for that i'm gonna take some thicker sections because i do want to do it faster So after completing both the sides, this is how my hair looks like right now. It is more settled and uh, the wavy and the breeziness is more settled now. And now I'm gonna do the top section of my hair and for that also I'm using the brush only and I'm gonna straighten it a little bit so that it is easy to style.
So after straightening the top section, you can see it's much more manageable and smooth and soft and it just looks like blow dried hair and I love the texture of my hair after blow drying. It just feels so voluminous. So this is how my hair looks like after straightening it for a little bit like not fully straightened but yeah all the frizziness and waviness is gone completely and yeah I like this hairstyle too like in this way. I like my hair this way also it is like so better than the pokey straight straightened hair and now I'm gonna add some curls to it. So for the curls we have two barrels this is the 40 mm barrel and this is the 30 mm barrel. 40 mm barrel is used for soft curls like the bigger ones and this barrel is used for small tight curls. So I am going to use the 30 mm barrel because my hair is really thin and the tight curl would look really really good on my hair. So you can see the knob here which you can turn to uh, get the curls on the left or the right side of your uh, face. And I am going to curl my hair away from my face so I have turned the knob that way. So for the barrels you have to just turn the knob in the direction which you want your hair to be curled. and. And just take a small section of your hair and keep it near the barrel and it will automatically just wrap it around and you just have to uh, stretch it a little and the curls will automatically just wrap it around. This technique also took me some time to you know get the gist of it and after 2-3 trials I was good in it. So for getting the tighter curls and intact curls you need to keep the heat for around 1 minute and then you have to hit the cool shot button so the curl just stays intact as you can see it's so intact right now because of the cool shot it just makes it you know stay the way they are. Again the key is to take smaller sections because the Dyson works really really good with smaller sections if you are taking bigger sections it might not get the same uh, result so for the barrel to catch your hair you just need to take a small section and keep the end loose like this and keep the barrel near the loose end and it will automatically wrap it around and then you just need to pull it upwards while uh, stretching your hair with a finger like this and then it will wrap it around all over the edge and then you just need to stretch it a little bit so that the heat just gets all the way on the curls then hit the full shot button for a little while and just release the curls and you can see how smoothly and perfectly the curls just turns out so one thing that I have noticed with the Dyson is that the hairstyle that you do with Dyson doesn't stay longer than uh, two to three hours even after using a hairspray etc. I think it's because of the uh, heat that is used in the Dyson. It is not that much like the straightener and the curler which is like a good thing also. Uh, so the damage caused by Dyson to your hair is way less than the straightener and the curler that you use on a regular basis. And that is also the reason why I opted for Dyson than the regular straightener and curler. Although I do have the straightener and curler and I used to do my hairstyle with that but now I have stopped using it and I am doing my hairstyles with Dyson only. For the left side of the hair we are going to turn the knob again to the opposite direction and then gonna start with the same process. When you look at the body of the Dyson it looks really heavy but when you held it in your hand it is like really lightweight. The barrels are also very very lightweight and you can easily held it in one hand and do your hairstyles like I'm doing right now. The major plus point that I have noticed while using the Dyson for me it is it doesn't burn my hand 
I have burned my hands so many times while using my straightener and curler but this is like really really easy and really fun to use. So after curling the hair it looks like this and I have not loosened up the curls yet and I'm gonna keep it this way till I do the top section. So the top section of my hair also includes my curtain bangs so for that I'm gonna use the volumizing brush which is this one. So this is really good for uh, making those curtain bangs uh, really stay in place. So I'm going to attach this barrel now and start uh, styling the curtain bangs for this. Also I'm going to section my top uh, hair into two parts and I'm gonna use this volumizing brush and smoothen it up and also I'm going to curl the ends of my hair with this brush and yeah this is how the crown section of my hair going to be styled. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to straight the hair and curl the ends like this and this is going to give volume to the crown area of my hair. So for the curtain bangs I'm going to uh, do the same process of straightening and curling the ends but I'm gonna do it in the inwards direction and also the outward direction just to get the volume of the hair and this is how it looks like so now I'm gonna just take the middle parting so this is how I style my curtain bangs Now the styling process is complete and I'm gonna open the curls of my hair. Are you ready to see the full result? Now I'm just gonna open my curls using my fingers and this is not gonna disturb the curls a lot and this is a good way to open your curls instead of using a comb. So this is how my hairstyle look like. I love the final result. It is so voluminous and styled really really good. And this is my third attempt as I said. I am not a pro in it. I am still learning how to use it. And this is my best attempt till now. And I love the hair. How it looks. It looks healthy and voluminous. And such a good hairstyle. I love this one. As I said before, it's a learning curve with the Dyson and uh, the, the times you are going to use the Dyson, you are going to learn how to do your hairstyle really, really faster. So a little story time. So the first time the Dyson was introduced, I was like so into buying it and I was thinking about buying it. But then uh, so many reviews I saw and then it was like, you have to uh, use different attachment for different curls and straightening and blow drying and I was like oh who has the time to do all of that I didn't like the first uh, edition of the Dyson it was like you have to attach a different barrel for this type of curls and different barrel for this type of curls and it was like so horrible I didn't like the first Dyson at all but then they introduced this new Dyson in which they have removed that all uh, different barrels for different kind of curls and they have just put one barrel and their knob just turns this right and left so that you can easily get the curls you want so that was like very easy than the other one so I was like again tempted to buy it so this was like very uh, better option from the previous Dyson so also, I kind of manifested this Dyson, so that's an another story time which I'll tell you later. But yeah, I finally have this and I love using it. So I hope you like this video. Please do share, subscribe and also like this video if you like what you saw. And yeah, I was really thrilled when I got the Dyson and using it is also really fun. So I love the way how Dyson style my hair and gives me that enough volume and the blow dry effect. I just love that. I don't like that wildly uh, sticky kind of effect when you get when the uh, when you are styling with the 
straightener or a curler. So tell me in the comments below what are your uh, tips and tricks that you are using if you have Dyson and also if you ever tried Dyson or not. You can easily, you know, for free try Dyson on the Dyson store and get the gist of it if you have you are planning to buy one or you are just wanting to, you know, see how it works and if it's worth to buy or not, you can do that in the Dyson store near you. And yeah, uh, do comment down below your thoughts and I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.